I want to definitely see this. This is good because we have light in here this time. <laughs> There's one down here. This is so crazy. So this is a 2012 model. Okay. So look at all the overhead control. Right. How different it is. It's like the space shuttle. Right. Now, do you personally prefer that? Like that it looks more oh, it's like... it's modern. It's ergonomically right. designed. It's designed for functionality and to reduce what we call pilot workload. So notice, notice where... So in, in all the other oil airplanes, we used to have to take a writing tablet and write here. Right. So look at how this is designed. It's look right there. Look at where my right arm goes. That's great. It's, so guess what? I in, in the old planes, you either had to use a mic, okay? This is a backup mic, or a headset, or push your mic button here. Okay. Guess what? My hand's here. I can write when air traffic control gives me a new clearance. Right. But look where my mic button is. Just right with a touch there. of a finger. Click, 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 click. That's great. Shh. Click, 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 click. Shh. Frequency changes, flight planning, everything. So could you tell me um, like what all is so on look, the yoke look at this. on this? Look at this. I have a cursor. No way. I can down pull there. Full digital weather. Right down there. That's look. very cool. Our 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 checklist, our checklist that I was showing you on paper. That, you remember when you saw the paper checklist last right. week? Guess what? Right All there. digital. That's awesome. Look. Great. Everything. That's crazy. All digital. So cool. So, so like, this, how do you go through this one? Is this checking it yeah. by itself? No, I'm checking it. Okay. I'm battery, on, check, gear, three green, gear, three green, and then I check it off. Okay, so what does this mean? This means that the gear is fully operational and obviously it is down and locked. Okay. If they were red, then there's a problem. Okay. So like only so, one can be red? Like yeah, like you, that's a possibility you don't want it or to they be would red. all be red? When there's something red, you get a problem. Right, so, but, I, but that's what I'm asking. Like only one could be red at a time, like that's a possibility or would they all be red if something was wrong? Could be either way. Anything, okay, great. Just curious. So this is on every aircraft. And this is called an enunciator panel. And what it does is one of these lights will come on whenever there is a failure or a precautionary warning. If we lost oil pressure, then this would go red. Okay. So if we were taking off, and remember I told you about the velocity speeds? Right. When, when Lee goes to full takeoff power, I call takeoff power set. Then our airspeed start moving, like the airspeed on your car speedometer. Right, and I, right. And I say airspeed alive. When we get to 80 knots, I look at his airspeed and I say cross check. When we get to our calculated velocity V1, okay, if we had one of these lights on before we got to V1 or VR, I would call abort and we would shut the aircraft down Completely. on the runway maintain directional control and stop. Wow. So it, it could be any kind of failure here on the on the multifunction display or uh, PFD. And what kind are, of he, are here. And so that's right. my duty. I'm kind of like a navigator engineer radio guy. Checking. As a so what kind of failures would be possible to see on here? All kinds of failures. Like it would be the same ones that show up here, potentially? Uh, not necessarily. This could be this system, which is an AHARS uh, navigational system. And so, uh, remember the old magnetic compass? Right. It's still in every plane. Right. Columbus used the magnetic compass. We're still using it 500 years later. Okay? So we cross-check with the magnetic compass. Right. So this is the electronic compass. Okay, which is called an HSI. Okay? And so if this system failed and quit turning, right. then we would have a fly. Okay? okay. So this is an attitude indicator. If it failed, we would have a big red cross. Okay. Wow. So that's great. The, the system has redundant uh, it would like capacity. You. Right. Hey Lee. So is there a test 
button for the enunciator panel lights. Oh, I don't remember. Everything's up here, right? Here. Look. There oh wow. Go. Okay, great. So this is everything. Wait, what did you just? This read? is. Okay. This is all my test switches right here. Okay. So right. we got okay. the enunciator. That all lights up. Okay. So red is bad or no go. Orange is you, you got something happening. Okay. In a good way? A bad way. A bad way, okay. You don't want you want this panel clear okay. in in flight or before takeoff. Okay. Okay. This, this was your color black cockpit. Right. So everything that's so that's normal everything. is black. If something pops up then it's okay. it's either a warning or so that was another thing I wanted to ask y'all. An um, electronic red flag. Right. Do you find, um, like, I guess depending on whether you're flying during the day or at night, um, do you find, like, a dark, I mean, we saw that white one so the other day. Audible, we have the audible. As well. Too. Um, do you find that a darker cockpit is look, better, like... Look, he's testing the autopilot. That's so right? cool. That's awesome. So she, I said, so what's the most major difference you see in this aircraft versus what all you saw flying? That well, it's so different. Yeah. It's so different than all the other ones. I mean, I can I can see why. Um, but so could could y'all tell me what all is like on this particular yoke? Like this is AP disc. Uh, oh, that's autopilot disc. This is our trim. And this is the trim okay. wheel right here that makes the airplane go up and down. Okay. And the wheel turns when I do it. Oh wow! Okay. So Annalise, oh, remember maybe driving a boat, and, right. and you push the boat and the throttle, and it, it, because of the torque of the propeller, it wants to start going right. right. You got to hold the wheel left. So we we have control surfaces that control the aircraft right. uh, on a, on a, a three-axis uh, basis. Your your uh, rudder, your elevator for up and down, your rudder for left and right, your airlines to bank. Right. And, and so to fine tune that control, you have a trim system is what he was showing. It balances it out. It balances.